What's up everyone? This is my update about a posterior tongue tie again. So... You may be looking this video up and have the same issue as me. Did your milk supply drop? Because the pain is so bad, probably just as I'm having, it makes you makes you not almost want to breastfeed because maybe you have nipple pain just as I do. I have it on one side. One side struggles the most. I was prescribed an antibiotic because the cut was so deep. But my milk supply dropped a lot, guys. And it's very frustrating because this is my fourth one and I had not ever, ever, ever had this issue. And it's so discouraging and hard. It's because... It hurts so bad just to breastfeed my left side. I got a haka in the mail, so that's been working, but that kind of hurts. I don't think a lot of people tell you these things, but the haka, when I squeeze it, hurts so bad, like on the, the breast part, not like the nipple. Thankfully, it doesn't hurt on the nipple, but it hurts. Um, but I still use it, so I use it if he, he can nurse 100% properly on the right side, so I'll use that there and then I'll dump the rest of whatever comes out from here from the Haka manual breast pump. I will pour it into a bottle and give them the rest of that through the bottle. But I always start them on this side. And with posterior tongue ties, sometimes I do better on one side than the other and sometimes I don't do good. And I notice he likes this type of pacifier the most to soothe him because he's so cranky. And if you're getting no sleep, I suggest you try the circle pacifier. Um, they try to tell you to wait till you establish breastfeeding. Obviously, you're probably thinking, I probably didn't because it still hurts. You did, if they're getting something or gaining some weight, you did establish it. So don't let that discourage you from trying a pacifier or a bottle. It is worth it because it makes them more calm and excited to sleep. So, did your milk supply drop? Yep, mine did too, because baby's latch is not properly going on to you very well. They're not draining it fully. So make sure you pump the rest out. And it sucks because you're probably like me where I'm thinking, I don't wanna oversupply myself and be uncomfortable. So that's not the case. There's been times where I'm going back and forth about supplementing formula if I can't make enough. So like I'll feed when I'm full, but supplement with formula on some of the feedings properly. Probably at night time is when I will supplement at formula so he sleeps a little longer. But I noticed that it is not fun to drop your supply. So my suggestion is drink a lot of fluids, guys. Pump out one side of your breasts Feed them on the breast that feels better for you. Your baby on the breast that feels better for you. And get the Haka manual pump or get the breast pump out and pump out the breast that he's not nursing on while he's nursing on one side because it will give you a letdown to get more milk out. That's how you can increase it. And then you give him whatever's left over on that one breast into the bottle. So that way you could start training your baby to drink from a bottle as well, which will help your stress level when they hit six months old to drink from a bottle. Whenever you wean, it will be easier for you. It will be less stressful for you to start that. That's my opinion, but you do what you want. But yeah, you're not alone if you're not if you're dropping your supply. So how to get it back up is just get breast pump on the side that you're not nursing on nurse your baby on the side that you want Nur and then use the pump while he's nursing on there and it will help you get some a lot of milk out and help keep everything evened out so one breast isn't bigger than the other and being uncomfortable but that's my suggestion everyone suggestions wow i'm so out of it already um thank you for watching uh, if i have any more updates someday i'll let you know love you guys bye Thank you.